mellow yellow like my guitar. I'm gonna go back to playing in a second because we got about five more minutes till we start. I'm also answering questions here. Las Vegas, Fabian, Whitney, yo Todd, what's up, Texas. <laughs> Sit in the circle. Hello. Thank you for coming out uh, to our Friday uh, night 
mellow, hardcore mellow yoga class. Um, so before we start, uh, tonight's class is, I got a buddy in Cleveland, uh, Rich, uh, and I got a buddy in the Valley, Tino, and they work for UPS, and uh, UPS is just like slam. They like, they're having to work extra hours to get all the stuff delivered that uh, all of us are ordering. So I'm just uh, sending uh, this class out to them. And I'm gonna get a little closer because we are gonna start with a bizarre, awesome breathing technique called alt nostril. You're gonna take your right hand and lift it up and these two fingers, whoa, the pointing and the swearing finger are gonna come down. This is called the deer mudra. This in itself is like a form of yoga because it is not easy to bring those fingers down and keep the, see this guy wants to keep coming down too, but we want to keep him up. We're going to take the knuckle on either of these fingers and put it at the third eye. Let's see if I can get in here a little closer. We are going to close the left nostril with the fingers and we're going to breathe in through the right nostril. We're going to close both and we're going to breathe out through the left side. We're going to breathe back in through the left side. We're going to close and lift the thumb off and breathe out through the right side. A couple more of these and then we're going to really simplify. Back in through the right. And out through the left. Just a couple more breathing in through the left. Both are closed. Open the right and breathe out through the right. Good. Let that down. Let's breathe with um, our arms. We're going to breathe in through the nose as we reach up. And we're going to breathe out through the nose as we bring the arms all the way down. And again, we're going to breathe in through the nose as we reach up. And we're going to breathe out through the nose as we come back down. Again, breathing in, reaching up. And breathing out. Again, breathing in, all the way back up. Don't forget to hit share. And breathing out, all the way back down. Let's do a few more of these. Breathing in, back up. Breathing out, back down, maybe more than a few. Breathing in, reaching up. Breathing out, all the way back down. Couple more. Breathing in, reaching up. A lot of breath in through the nose, all the way out. Breathing it out again. Two more. Breath in. And breath out. My apartment is so bright. Breathe in again and breathe out so i'm going to go over here let's lay down on our bellies those of you that want to do full push-up up dog and down dog are welcome to well tonight most of us are going to do cobra and child's pose but you're welcome to do full push-up up dog and down dog those of you that uh, know the practice really well but come down to the belly right see my toes they're pointed straight back so we're going to have the hands down on either side on the mat, right next to the shoulders. We are keeping the hands super light. We're not pushing on the mat, and we're taking a breath in as we look up. And as we breathe out, we push into the mat, put the knees down, and roll back into child's pose. Lengthen through your arms. The knees are a bit apart so the hips can come down so you're stretching the lower back and lengthen out the entire back to your fingers. We're going to take three of those long breaths here. You can be in down dog if you prefer. We draw the breath in and we breathe out. Both directions in and out through the nose. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more time. Breathing in and breathing out, and then let's scurry either forward to the top push-up or back down onto the belly with the hands again by the knees, toes pointing straight back, tighten the legs, and look up like a snake running under the fence. Then again, we push on the hands with the knees down, and we roll back. 
Good, lengthen, open up the feet so the back can come down, so the hips can come down and we can stretch right here. Lengthen through the hands and breathe. Draw the breath in. Push the breath out. Listening to the sound of the breath nice and long. Good, one more time, scurry to the belly or the top of push-up. From the belly, we just roll into cobra. From the top, push up. It's up dog, legs tight, and then down dog. Nice. So either in down dog or child's pose, as we had done previously, just drawing the breath in through the nose, pushing the breath out through the nose, taking your time tonight because we are going nice and slow. Stay there a little longer. Excellent. So please come to a seated position. You can cross the legs. You can sit on a mat or a block if you like. Pull these shoulders back and we'll do both. So don't get freaked out about the right and left stuff because tonight it's real loose and we'll do both sides and it's easy enough. We're going to reach the right arm all the way up and then you're going to bring it down your back like you're kind of trying to touch your spine but several vertebrae down. We're going to take the left overhand, which happens to be for me the left, and grab that elbow and push the head back against the arm. Keep your ribs rotating down and we're going to continue. And if you can, for as long as we go tonight, it might be a full hour. We're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Really getting the breath. Even if you just sit with us and do the breath, that's going to be totally awesome. So get that breath and really heighten your immune system and your uh, alkaline level with that extra oxygen. So again, breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. A couple more of these. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining in. Let's bring that down. Woo! Shake those arms out a little bit. Move the shoulders. Let's do the other side. For me, it's left up, whatever the other one that you didn't do, down the back. And again, now the opposite arm comes, so you can grab that elbow. I mean, if you're real flexible, you can come around the back and intertwine uh, the fingers back there. Otherwise, and again, the head pushes back against the arms and those last set of ribs right here, try to rotate them down. And again, we're breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. Really exaggerating the breath. Really listening to the sound of the breath. Just a little more of this, nice and easy. I'm looking over here, just keep breathing. I got my list of poses tonight because we're doing a real different class tonight. A little bit longer. Good. Bring the arms down. I'm going to back up so you can see me. I'm not going to straddle out the legs. We're going to breathe in and reach up the middle. I can see my shadow. I can breathe out and feet towards the right. Back up, breathing in and over to the left. Please, over and over, every time you forward fold, I want you to breathe out. I want you to be super conscious of the breathing. Please keep going. I gotta hit something here on my computer. And we're just breathing and moving, continuing. Getting those toes over and over. Let's keep doing it. Every down is a giant out breath. The in breath is up the middle. Please keep going. If this is hard for you, put the hands on the shins and just move back and forth like this. But still, put that out breath on that downward fold. We're going to keep going tonight. Back and forth. Out breath, out breath. The in breath will pretty much take care of itself. But you can draw it in. We want all that oxygen. We want to excite the nervous system. Whatever your rhythm is, 
You get to choose all by yourself on that rhythm. We're going to go about 30 more seconds. Twenty more seconds. Ten more seconds. Good. Let's touch the ceiling. Really feel that length. Let's breathe a little bit here, drawing the breath in, pushing the breath out. Just a little more. Breath in and out. Good. Bring the legs together and maybe shake them out a little bit because they have them out that long. That's a little intense. We're going to do a cobbler pose, Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet together. Once you bring the uh, soles of the feet together, you want to take your left hand and grab these small toes and then right hand on top. And you see I came forward to do that? Once we got that, we're gonna come back. If you can't go uh, sitting straight up your back, bring the feet in closer. So in more like this, and so you can get that straight back. But find that equal medium where you're feeling like a tension in the arms and the feet don't move, but we're gonna pull the shoulders back down and away as we lengthen the top of the head up. Those of you that want to are welcome to butterfly. We're going to stay here. And again, we're breathing in through the nose. And we're breathing out through the nose. We're going to stay here a little bit longer. Let me make a little uh, adjustment here. Please stay up. Please keep breathing. Good. Now we're going to take the elbows and put them against your legs, pushing the legs open and fold your face down towards your feet. We're going to stay here breathing. So please stay here and I'm going to check a couple things. Just keep breathing in and out through the nose as long as you can make it. Drawing that breath in, pushing the breath out, listening to the sound of the breath. Keep going, keep going, keep breathing. Good, let's come up. So for those of you that wanted a little bit more exercise tonight, I'm only gonna do this once as a uh, kind of visual so that you can see, but in between each of these poses, if you want to, hands down, step back, up dog and down dog, that is on you. Um, the rest of us are now going to uh, hands and knees. We're going to do the cat and the cow. So the knees are two fists apart. Hands come down underneath the shoulders. Fingers pointing straight forward. We're going to let the belly drop down. As you breathe out, we're going to arch the back. We're going to let the belly drop down, and we're going to arch the back. Moving and breathing, just keep on going. The in-breath is as the belly drops down, the out-breath is as you arch the back. Keep going. We're going to hit the cat-cow a couple of times because I got a few little parts we're going to do on this. Twenty more seconds on this one. Ten seconds. Good. Push yourself up to being on your knees. I'm going to come back so you can see me. So from here, you can see that I am on my toes because that's and I may not even do the second part. We're going to take our thumbs and we're going to put them in our lower back, pulling the elbows together, and we're going to look up at the ceiling. 
Yeah. Some of us are just going to stay right here. If you want, if you feel like it's really accessible to you, you can put the fingers on the heels, tighten the legs, and let the head fall back. Otherwise, stay with the thumbs on the back, and we're going to breathe here. If the feet are flat, it's even more. You come down even further. But again, totally awesome to stay with the thumbs on the back, looking at your ceiling and breathing. Good. Those of you that want a vinyasa, vinyasa, the rest of us are coming down to cat and cow again, and we'll meet the rest of you there. So back to cat cow. Let the belly fall down, arching the back. Again, breath in, belly falls down, arching the back. Keep moving. Yep. I'm going to come back here so you can see the hands. Keep breathing, keep moving in the cat and the cow. 20 more seconds. For me, it's hard to do the camel if I don't do the cat cow too. It's a fucking zoo in here. Speaking of which, come back to center and look over the right shoulder and see your tail. And then over to the other side and see your other tail. Good. Come back around. Um, we'll do both. So again, don't worry about the, the right and left, but turn the right hand in so it faces the left. And we're going to keep this hand right here. We're going to take the left arm and feed it through, laying onto the shoulder and the side of the face. Now you can push that hand against the mat, rotating back, or you could reach that arm up and bring the back of your hand on your lower back. You could come around and get the pocket of the leg. For me, pushing against the bat is way more useful. Let's stay here and breathe. Let's come back up. We're going to switch the hand, so we'll turn the left hand in, and we're going to feed the right arm through, so we're getting that other side back down, again, pushing the hand against the mat, or even lifting it up, coming around the back. You find the one that works for your body. And then, for me, again, it's pushing against the mat, and of course, we're drawing the breath in, we're pushing the breath out, and we're going to stay here a little bit. Let's come back to hands and knees. Those of you that are going hardcore are welcome to do the vinyasa right here. And from hands and knees, we are going to step the right foot to the top of the mat, and we're going to reach the arms up. Good. Let's stay here. You can bring this foot in the front further forward, getting your uh, left quad to stretch. Just breathing and reaching. Thank you for the the heart, thank you very much. We're taking a breath in. We're pushing the breath out. We're breathing in. We're breathing out. Don't forget to go easy tonight. We're going to take the arm on the opposite side of the leg. It's the left and bring it outside of the right. Hands in prayer, pull in towards the body. Now, you should look at your foot or look at the ceiling. I'm just looking at the camera so I can see what's going on here. You could also roll back on the ball of the foot. I'm not doing that. We're gonna stay here a little bit, just breathing in this twist. Good, those of you that want a vinyasa, vinyasa, the rest of us are gonna just step to hands and knees. And we'll now step the opposite foot up, left foot up, and we're going to reach up again. Good. You can bring that foot in the front further forward if you care to. Drawing the breath in, 
Pushing the breath out, listening to the sound of the breath. Woo, a little longer, let those hips hang down. Good. Opposite arm. So it's the right's going to come all the way outside of the left. Hands in prayer again towards the chest. You could turn the fingers up to your face. You could roll back on the ball, the foot straight in the leg. You can keep the knee down. We're going to stay here. Breathing. Little bit longer. Good. Those of you that want a vinyasa, vinyasa. And we're going to step back again. We're going to switch back to the right foot back up. And arms back up. I'm going to go even further away. Good. We're going to stay here. Again, let the hips hang down. Let's superman the arms straight up. And then let's bring those hands down, the right hand directly next to the right foot and the left hand under the shoulder. Now you could stay here. Those of you that are super circus uh, flexible can put the elbows down on the ground. Or you could even walk the hands forward and just begin to bend the arms and over time uh, the elbows will get down. Keep your leg locked against your shoulder and arm so don't let it go out to the side keep it way in there and we're going to just breathe here nice and big drawing the breath in pushing the breath out listening to the sound of the breath Excellent. Let's do the other side. Left foot steps to the top. We're going to reach up. Knee over ankle right there in the front. Then we're going to Superman again, straight up. Thank you for the hearts. Really appreciate it. And then let's bring those hands down again. Right on the inside. Keep the knee against the shoulder. Woo! Feel that right on the underside there. You can walk those hands further forward if you like. We're going to stay here. Breathing. Drawing the breath in. Pushing the breath out. Just a little more. Good. Push yourself up, those of you that want a vinyasa, vinyasa. And then let's stand and let's bounce. I know I'm out of frame. Just get everything loose for a little bit. Bounce around, bounce around. We gotta run around the house just a little more. Nice and easy. Get your hands loose. Get your feet loose. All right, so let's lay down. We're gonna uh, thread the needle for those of you that know that. So we're gonna lift the right leg up we're going to take the right ankle and set it just down the inside of the left uh, leg, just below the knee, just a little bit. Then we're going to take the right hand and feed it through both legs. See how that came out? And you could grab the underside of the left leg, and then the other hand comes around and meets, or both hands on the shin. Whenever you get that grip, lay back, flex the feet, which means bring the toes to the shins, See if you can rotate the uh, right knee forward, but don't force it. Just think about it moving forward. And we're going to take long breaths here.
Breathing in the nose, drawing it in, pushing it out, don't worry. Good, let's put the feet down again. I'm gonna give you a different view. And we are gonna lift the left leg up. We're gonna bring the left ankle down inside. We're gonna bring the, same, the hand on the same side through the center, grabbing either underneath the leg and then hands meeting or on the shin. Flex the feet, bring those toes back. Lay the head back and let's breathe here. Excellent. Both feet down. We're going to do bridge. You're welcome to do Urdhva Dhanurasana. The feet and the knees are two fists apart. You can kind of measure it. The longest finger almost touches your heel, but not quite. And we're going to lift the hips up. As we lift the hips, intertwine the fingers, tuck the shoulders under so you can rise yourself up onto those shoulders. We're going to stay here. Those of you that want to do Urdhva Dhanurasana are welcome to. Those of you that want to do supported, can stick the thumbs underneath the back. That takes a bit of getting used to. I like it, but it took me a long time to even get anywhere near wanting to do that. It's really uh, intense on the hands. We're gonna stay here and breathe. Good, come on down, hug the knees into the chest, and let's really get a hold of the shins and bring the nose up to the knees so we can try to access the lower back stretch. We'll stay here just a little bit. Then with the head down, like you've got pencils, one on each knee pointing up to the sky, the ceiling, we're gonna roll on the back drawing circles on the ceiling. Keep going. I gotta do something here. Just keep rolling in that one direction, please. Good, and then let's reverse directions. Opposite way. Keep going, keep rolling that back down into the mat. We'll probably come to this again. And of course, we're breathing in and out through the nose, just drawing it in and pushing it out. Do that the whole time. You will be blown away by what that does to the feeling in the body and the feeling in your mind. Good, please find a wall. I'm gonna go back there and show you but I wanted to tell you first, we're going to get up against the wall and we're going to put our feet up the wall and then we're going to bring our arms out and lay down flat and I'll show you and then I'm going to come and talk to you more. But let's do it. Let's everybody find a wall. You don't have to get real close, but you can go to the side and then bring yourself up. Bring the arms all the way out and you could bring the feet apart. And let's stay here breathing. Stay in the pose, drawing the breath in, pushing the breath out, listening to the sound of the breath, letting those arms drop into the floor, letting the legs drop down into the hips. If your legs are parted, letting the inner uh, part of the leg open up and just breathe, just drawing the breath in.
Pushing the breath out. Listening to the sound of the breath, nice and easy. All I hear is the breath, drawing it in and pushing it out. As my shoulders sink down into the floor, my head into the floor, and the legs, letting all the blood be a little different in that this inversion. We're going to stay here for at least another minute. If someone wants to do shoulder stand, you're welcome to, or even headstand. Otherwise, just stay on the wall, and we're going to practice taking it easy. Just drawing the breath in, pushing the breath out, feet up the wall, arms out, listening to the sound of the breath. Alrighty, so go ahead and wiggle yourself off the wall and come back to next to your mat, but not on your mat, because we're going to roll the mat up. We're going to roll it up as tight as we can. This one's uh, from Yvette, so real tight, as tight as you can make it. So tight rolled up mat. We're going to lay it down on the ground, and you are going to put the mat, so I'm going to turn around and show you like this. So for me, I like the end of the mat at the base of my skull, but we're going to be laying down doing this, so I'm going to go uh, sideways right here. So you scoot yourself up to the mat, and then you may have to lift yourself. I like having my legs bent, but if you can lay flat and then open the arms, and feel the top of the mat here against the base of your skull so it's lengthening your spine a little bit and opening up through your chest. In fact, open the or bring the arms up for a second and let your shoulders drop down into the mat. And then take your fingertips and turn them out and push the fingertips against the ground for a moment and feel that in your shoulder blades and your core and then just sink down into the mat like so. And we're going to take about a minute here just breathing. And let me hit my timer. Just stay here and I'll let you know when we're done. We're just drawing the breath in, pushing the breath out, just laying on the mat for a minute or laying on the ground. But the mat's good. It's going to open up through your chest and your upper back and a whole bunch of other stuff. Just breathe. Excellent. Roll to your side off the mat, and we're going to spread the mat out again. Those of you that want to do one more vinyasa, if you've been doing that tonight, go ahead. We're going to lay down. We're going to do a little bit of uh, digestion uh, work uh, before we get into our meditation, which we will take laying down. But if you can, laying down, if you need to, if you're a visual person and you need to see what I'm about to do, then you can look up or if you're holding your phone. But we'll do this normally laying down. We're going to take uh, the hands like this. We're going to come down on the right side of your rib cage and find 
where the ribs end. Where the ribs end, we're going off the edge of the ribs, so we're not pushing on the ribs, and we're pushing into the muscle area, like massaging. And then we're working across the body, underneath the ribs, we're hitting the large intestines. In India, I'll tell you in a second, we're coming all the way down. Once down, you're coming um, across the pant line, under the navel, and then all the way back up to the ribs, not touching the ribs, and come across again. So we want to excite the digestive system because in southern India they want fuel efficiency. We're coming all the way down, down again, all the way across. You got to push through the muscle wall. We don't want stuff staying around. It's a source of sickness. We're, we're, this is a source of health. All the way back across again. We're going to do two more of these, just laying down, massaging the large intestines. All the way back across, all the way back up. This is where a lot of my emotion gets hidden. We have our different spots. One more time, full, all the way around, right to left. Good. So laying down, I want you to put your hands on your uh, core with the longest finger touching. Every time you breathe in, the fingers come apart. Every time you breathe out, they come back together. Really get focused on the movement of the fingers coming apart and coming together. That is the focus of your meditation tonight. We're going to stay here for about 10 minutes and then I will let you know. I'm going to look at my timer so that, because I know we all got somewhere to be. It's drawing, let the breath do itself. You don't need to move the breath. Just feel the movement in the fingers. Let me turn some of these lights down. Oh, just the movement in the fingers. Relaxing in the simplicity, the simplicity of the body taking care of itself, the body breathing, the body circulating the blood, the body healing itself, the body digesting, the body sending you messages. Just feel the movement of the belly and the fingers coming apart. Let's just stay here. Sinking further into the mat. At one with our bodies. Continuing to come back to the feeling of the breath.
simplicity. Stay in your relaxed position. Stay laying down. Stay feeling the breath. I just wanted to remind you that I'm here with you. We're all breathing together. We're all feeling it together.
let's move the fingers and toes a little bit. Rotate at the wrists and the ankles, still laying down, still simple, simple as we can be. Let's lengthen really long from the fingers all the way to the toes. Lengthen your whole body out on the mat. Stretch as long as you can and pull your core down against the uh, floor and the mat. And let's hold here for a couple breaths. Just stay there. Long stretching, pulling that core down that we did that uh, digestive work on. Just hold it down there. Good. Go ahead and bring the uh, knees uh, up into the chest. And then uh, roll yourself either over to your right and push yourself up with your left or just rock yourself up to a seated position. Let's bring our hands to the heart center and rub them together. You guys want to do some alms tonight? I heard a few people say yes. Let's do three. So let's just start like uh, Brian used to, uh, starts us when we do a uh, black market. So we're going to take a breath in. And then we're just going to let it out. And we're om on this one. Take a breath in. Om. Again, breath in. ones for the whole wide world. Oh. You're living your dream. Don't miss it. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for uh, joining all of us tonight. We'll be back Monday. Monday and Wednesday will be no our normal vinyasa and a little bit of a workout classes. Uh, Fridays, um, we're taking a little bit uh, relax, more of a med meditation and some breathing. And actually, I feel pretty good, man. Um, it's DanielOverbringer.com if you want to hit me for a donation. Both my Venmo and my PayPal are linked there. I'll link it in the uh, comments. And um, thank you, guys. Uh, it's so good to be together with you again. And we're back Monday with, with a little bit more of our normal um, yoga vinyasa black market. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Fabian. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you for the heart. So right.